everyone, this is Mr. Alvaronin here again, and today I'm here for a breakdown on Endeavor. Uh, overall, Endeavor's character type, I would say, is definitely a space patrol, um, almost zoning-like, but also heavy-hitting character, with really long-ranged red and yellow attacks, so he's good at controlling the space and throwing projectiles out, but he also just has really satisfying attacks to make it feel good to beat your opponent up with. So now, getting into his attack strings, his regular attack string is a three hitting attack string that can be dash out cancelled afterwards, and his air attack string is this two hitting kick string, which is pretty interesting, not something I'd expect from Endeavor, but you know, it's here and I'm here for it. I kinda love it. Um, they're both pretty average, they're not the fastest, but like watching them, they're you know, pretty high impact, so that adds to his hard-hitting hard character type. Um, his yellow attacks are really great, they're very long-ranged. I can be about here and I think it'll still hit just... Okay, like, all the way over here, and it'll still hit, and they do lots of damage, basically 4,000, and so someone somehow zoning you out as Endeavor, even though he has great projectiles. There's an annoying Togo or someone, or a Dabi, just throw out these armor moves, and you can just launch yourself in on the opponent, and you can dash cancel after them to get a follow-up combo or something, and they can be dash uh, cancelled into other quirk buttons. So if you go like this, I can go into other things for lots of damage really easy, and the air one works practically the same, just does a bit less damage and has a little less range, but it's effectively works the same way. His already showed his red attack. It's a really great red attack, which leaves your opponent <laughs> kind of gruesomely lying on the floor after they've been choked and set on fire, but it goes into combos, which is really great, because that best red attacks go into combos, it's just the most fun. And it's really long ranged, it hits about around here, Maybe a bit less. I'm, I'm overshooting a bit here, <laughs> but there we go. It's really long ranged red attack, that goes into combos, which is pretty amazing for it. Endeavor, so it's something you definitely want to be using. Especially uh, if you're, you know, in this range and they think you're throwing projectiles or something, throw out that when they're not ready, and... And yeah, just catch them off guard, and it's pretty fast if you're up close. Now for his quirk buttons, his quirk one is this three hitting fireball attack. It throws three fireballs out, and it has a shotgun effect, so di it'll do different damage at different ranges. So if you're in about this range, only one will hit and it'll only do 2,000 and or so damage, plus the burning. If you're up close, all three will hit and it'll do a decent amount of damage, so you can use that to do some interesting unoptimal combos if you want, or just throw out a lot of fire. Um, but obviously the place that you want to be using them is about this range, where all three will hit when they intersect. Um, when they all hit, you've been standing there for a while, so you can throw out something else, like his other projectile, because that'll do a lot of damage, and you end up being able to do get these large amounts of damage just for like hitting them with one sequence of projectiles. Um, also, as you saw before, if you hit like this, the other ones continue curving around, and it's almost like Bowser's Ninja, or Bowser's castle in Mario, where these fireballs are just floating around. So if you hit them like this, and then your opponent tries to like run away or run back or run to the side. These fireballs are just still floating around and they cross over each other, so they're hanging around for quite a while. They go very far. So it's a very interesting and very useful move, even if you only have one hit, because then it almost acts as a setup or a, a trick if they run into them. And it behaves practically the exact same in the air. Okay, now for his tilt quirk one, which you saw before, is this spear projectile. It It is basically just a projectile. It can't be dash cancelled afterwards, it can't be cancelled into plus ultra. Um, it's just a more traditional projectile, he throws it straight, it does decent damage, you can connect it off of these, because it's faster, for the high damage as you saw before. But it's also really good at, um, if you want to end your combos in it, it is a really useful move for wall splats. So if your opponent's in the air or something and you throw this spear at them, they're really likely to be wall splat. It sends them flying. Uh, 
And you can do something far more optimal than that. Um, it behaves the same way in the air and the ground. You can use it from far away. It can be connected into his plus ultra attack, but it's not actually being cancelled into it. It's more just hitting at a similar time. Even that can be a bit iffy sometimes. Obviously it's going to connect there if it's a wall splat, but yeah. Anyways, that's the projectile. Now for his quirk 2, he has this flamethrower attack. It's high damaging. Is if you want to, you know, do the most damage at the end of a combo, you know, we'll cancel this into this, and you've got a lot of damage at the end of your combos. Um, and getting damage is... Or getting the most damage is useful with Endeavor because he doesn't really get that much damage compared to other characters. He's not a combo character, he's just a fun character. Um, you can't dash cancel after this, you can't cancel into plus ultra, it's just a damaging combo ender. Um, you can spin it if you want, it's not that useful, it has a large hit area anyways. I don't see much purpose in doing this, it's not like you're going to catch someone off guard just because you spin a little bit. But yeah, it's a useful move, you can hold it out in the neutral for quite a long time and like catch people running around or something, because it's got large, large hit area. Uh, his Tilt Quirk 2 is this Fire Slash move that hits a lot of time and is really satisfying. And, as you can see, it is really good at wall splats. If you're anywhere near facing a wall, this is going to send them flying into the wall. So a good Endeavor player, if he gets a hit and realizes he's facing a wall, he's going to abort all combos and go straight into doing... Uh, his <laughs> Tilt Quirk 2, because it just sends them flying so far, and it does a lot of damage, and it can be cancelled into his Plus Ultra 1, it's one of the most damaging options. Oops. You usually have to wait for the most hits to hit. It's the most damaging way. Um, usually it does connect just straight off of that. There we go. 12,000 damage, and he gets another wall splat. And you could have gotten more damage with that if you're better than me. And don't mess up whenever you record, because the pressure's hard, you know, guys. But yeah, that's a uh, combo ender that I usually use, even though it does a bit less damage than this. It's just really good because I have I can go into a wall splat. That's basically it. Or you can dash cancel afterwards or go into a plus ultra. I just find it's like a lot easier if I realize, oh man, I have a plus ultra, I can go into that. Or you can just do things and yeah, it's more has more uses than just the, the flame flamethrower. Um, anyways, getting into his combos. Oh, something that I'd like to show as uh, interesting thing about Endeavor is yeah, he can walk on walls, which is pretty interesting. So if you walk up to a wall and hold hold A or hold your jump button, when you jump towards it, it can be a bit finicky and hard to do. But essentially, you're just on the wall and you can do your zoning or whatever from the wall. <laughs> Which is really interesting and oh god, the poor camera angles. Your poor opponent that has to deal with all these weird camera angles. Like they're not, not gonna know what's happening the first time you use this, it always freaks them out and they get hit by a few projectiles because they're like, what is happening? Did you get wall splat? Do, am I getting a combo? Like what's happening here? Um one thing that you notice is when I'm throwing projectiles off of the wall. I have to make sure I jump off of it before I throw the projectile, because when he's on the wall, he treats it like he's on the ground, and he just throws him straight ahead, like the opponent straight ahead of him. So you need to jump into the air, and then throw the projectiles, because then he'll throw them at you. So yeah, that's just a really interesting thing, you know, if you can in the match. See, look, it even has the like flaming footprints from the anime or the manga. You know, I, that's just, it's not overpowered or crazy useful or anything, I just think it's a cool addition to the game, and I like to use it sometimes, it's just fun. Adding to Endeavor's just fun 
He's just for fun. He's not overpowered. He's probably not even top tier, but he's just really fun to use. Okay, now, getting into his combos. I'm sorry guys, but Endeavor is not a combo character. The, a base combo that you'll see that's easy to hit would be something like three hits into this, into this, into the slash, or into the um, flamethrower, which does a bit more damage. So two hits into the armor move. Oop. So two hits. Oh, what am I talking about? Uh, three hits. Dash cancel. Two hits in the air into armor move. And then you can cancel that into... One of his quirk buttons that you want. To get, you know, decent damage. 9,000. It's not that bad. It's a bit lower than some characters. But, you know, he gets damage. It's just not as prolific as some others. Um, one thing that I like to... The combo that I usually use is two hits into his armor attack. One just because it looks cool and it's so badass. Just this flying, burning punch that just sends you both across the screen. But you can d cancel it into... Uh, you can cancel it into um, another quirk button, so see I go into the slash and dash cancel out of the slash, and go from there. It can be a bit finicky sometimes, but I just like to do it for the style, you know. Sometimes it media blows differently. And you, well, there's different hit <laughs> ways it can hit. But yeah, the safest combo you want to go with is three hits into two air hits into that. And then you can dash cancel as well to get a bit more two, two dash cancels into the combo. Um, Making his combos a bit better, you can use his plus ultra 1 in the air. So basically after any of the combos that you saw before, you can just throw a plus ultra 1 at, on, at the end for a bunch more damage. So I go like this. Uh, hopefully that hits. Sometimes it messes up if you write at the ball. Yeah. But essentially, it, it's pretty easy to add at the end of things if you're not right up against the wall. If you go into the slash, it connects pretty pretty consistently. Just wait for a few hits to hit to hold them in place. I, I noticed some thank you. <laughs> oh god. Well definitely if you go into this you can get it. And or after two hits, on, please just hit one. There we go. Maybe if you do it instantly after the thing. So if I go two hits to this, to there, and if my enemy isn't sent too far flying, then it should hit. And then yeah, you get pretty decent damage. And also, since it's a projectile, you can also do it to get some use it to get some crazy damage from like almost full screen, so if I go like so, uh, uh, so I use this projectile into here, or maybe just, just this projectile, Let's see if this connects, sometimes it can, sometimes it can't, yeah, <laughs> well it helped hit him on wake up. But you can usually connect it after if you notice these hit, cancel into the plus ultra one, and then you've suddenly gotten a ton of damage <laughs> from really far away. 2,000, 3,000 damage from like full screen it is nothing to laugh at compared to like the 5,000 you would get if you threw a normal screen. Anyways, that's basically Endeavor. His overall game plan is throwing out these fireballs, uh, controlling the space. They're quite slow, so you can use them as pressure tools. So if they're guarding, is they think you're going to throw more of these and throwing these out. You can throw one out and run up behind it and do a red attack. 
because there's so much fire on the screen you can probably can't even see it coming. Or you can throw out and then just uh, get some attacks after it, you know, pressure on block and stuff. Or just, like, you know, you can have it over here and then just cancel it into another projectile, you know, keep them away. You're really just making the opponent guess, or you could go into your yellow attacks that are really great. So you're really, like, controlling the space, like, you're the one who dictates how close you're going to be to each other. Or, like, are we far away throwing projectiles, or am I suddenly hitting you with a grab attack or <laughs> one of my awesome armor attacks? Um, oh, it didn't show his plus ultra do. Let me show that real quick. I mean, it, it's, it's not the greatest thing to use because you can't combo to that much, but obviously it looks cool. Um, if you could hit. Let's go. Super simple. Actually, wait, no, 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 no. I think you can go. There we go. That's cool. Hey, wait, have a look at that real quick. Bakugo's name. The first part is in Japanese, suddenly. <laughs> wait, no, it's not. Never mind. I'm just blind. This is so long. Back. Would it be the rudest thing to finish off a match with this? It just, oh, it's still going. It was like two minutes. Yeah. So obviously it does a huge chunk of damage. It does great damage. Uh, good for like getting comebacks or stealing around. You're not going to be able to break out with assists or anything. I mean, I feel like it's not that worth it if you can just do two hits into your armor attack into your plus ultra one and get thirteen thousand. Which is also a lot of damage, but you know, whatever floats your boat. If it's going to end out the round, like obviously I don't see why not, and be unnecessarily extra and flashy, and you know, give the plus ultra one, so it just gives you time to throw out your projectiles and stuff, I think it's just overall better. But anyways, that's uh, Endeavor in a nutshell, guys. Even though he's not super complicated or have flashy combos, I think he's pretty interesting and he's really fun to play. Usually, I thought of myself as a setup or something character, but just Endeavor's cool pressure with these and just how he just he dictates what's happening in the game. I just really enjoy that playstyle for a change. So, anyway, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.